Welcome back everybody to another video with Kyle Chris. Uh, we're going to continue our just reveal content going over uh, Blue today. And I, I feel like Blue is in a very good spot. I don't know what everybody else thinks about Blue. But I feel like Blue's in a very, very good spot. It's not the best color in the game. Um, but I think Blue is now finally caught up from <laughs> its woes in set 1. Uh, I think Bloom is going to be incredibly good in set 3 here. Now, a lot of it's going to be because of this leader. Um, the other, or, or, or another world, Goku. Um, I'm going to call it halo Ku, just to kind of mirror the, uh, the concept of uh, the Master's Leader. That also, you know, is from this same sort of other world archetype with... Uh, with Pycon and, 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 and Goku, of course. So, uh, leader side, we already know, four or less. Um, when attacking, draw two. Place the top card of your deck in the owner's, uh, on the top of the owner's deck, which is great, just great cycling. Then you can switch up to one card in your battle area to rest mode. Uh, if you have seven or fewer cards in your hand, you get 10K for the battle. So it's a, it's a very good way of just gaining extra 10K, going, going to 30 base. Uh, just like, just basically just like having a 10K combo in your hand. So we'll go over some of the cards here, actually, well, the first one I should say, uh, we have Eraser. Searches um, for four or less uh, Satan City cards, which is kind of the whole archetype is based on in set three is going over Satan City. I believe, I believe there's a field spell as well. Uh, we have the Whis. Permanent, if your life's three or less, this card gains blocker. Then on play, discard one card from your hand, draw one. This is actually pretty good. This is pretty good. Um, cycling is always good. Obviously, it's not a hard draw, but it is a blocker for late game. Um, it's a 10k. You can't grab it back off peel off, unfortunately, but it's still a pretty good card. I'd say this is a pretty powerful card. Uh, Blue has like the best one drop 10ks, <laughs> uh, and pairing that with with, uh, with 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 peel off is really funny. Uh, we have Kabito, draw one cantrip, pretty cool. Is he a Supreme Kai? Attendant. Okay. Okay. So that's he's not surgical. They they did that on purpose. We have Krillin. Uh, we have Wakanda Krillin here. Um, on play, if you have seven or fewer cards in hand, this card and your leader get 5k, so your leader becomes a 25k base. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, we have a great Saiyan uh, good old Skillus. Yeah, pretty, pretty interesting there. We have Sharpener, activate main, reveal the top card of your deck. If the card revealed has Satan City in its character trait, during the next turn, uh, during this turn, the next time you activate it, an extra from your hand, reduce it by one blue, which is pretty powerful. That means you can activate the, I think the field's one energy. But this also means like you can do like Gallic Gun and like Final Hope Slash for free, which is pretty powerful. Two drop Shin, look at the top card of your owner's deck, place at the top or the bottom of the owner's deck. That's really funny. Um, in the mirror, this could be a really cool card in blue mirrors, um, or I should say in uh, Angel Ku mirrors, but, or Halo Ku. Angel Ku sounds pretty cool too. Uh, but this is also just a really good card. Just like, if, it, if it's like a really powerful card, just being on a bottom deck it, your opponent can't get the card back, that's that's really good. Because uh, there's no shuffling in this game. We have an Android 18 super combo. Uh, we have a two drop Goku. When attacking, draw one, play the top card of your deck. Hand. On top of your deck. Uh, so just some more cycling and, uh, uh, you know, b being able to stack. That, that's pretty cool. Uh, we have Send Goten. If you have seven or more cards in your hand, draw one. This is really good. This is probably the new two-drop you're going to play in decks that play the uh, the Gotenks uh, four-drop. Uh, being able to cycle this card back to your hand. Uh, and then also just playing and drawing to just drawing a card. Is, is, that's pretty good. And, and it's a 10k. Uh, we have Student Gohan, three-drop Skillless. We have the... Uh, the big boy. Uh, this card's crazy. Uh, on play, seven or fewer cards in hand. Bottom deck, two of your opponent's battle cards, three or less. Um, this is probably the new blue staple. Um, blue doesn't have a lot of zero Ks. So this is actually really good for the rest of the format. <laughs> or I guess the rest of the colors in the game is... Uh, <sighs> blue doesn't have a lot of zero Ks. They play like Goku Black um, and the Fujito. The, uh, I'm actually, no, I'm sorry, in the Vegeta, because their Seeker Rare is also a 5k. Um, Zeno's a 10k. So, like, all their powerhouse cards are all 5 or 10ks. So, this is giving the other colors a little more of a, um, of an ability to deal with the fact that Blue just has, like, the, the most just robust 10k combos, um, by making them play this dead card in their hand. But, on the flip side, this card is very, very powerful. Being a 4 drop, I mean, 30k is really strong. But just getting rid of two cards in your hand is 
excellent, excellent card. And the art's fantastic, too. My god. Uh, two drop trunks. Activate main, choose one battle card, two or less, place the bottom of your owner's deck, then place this card at the, at the bottom of your owner's deck. So you get the bottom deck one of your opponent's cards, bottom deck this, and it uh, looks like they're really trying to push that trunks idea of, you know, replaying the trunkses from your uh, the bottom of your deck. Uh, we have trunks youth. If you have seven or fewer cards in hand, choose one of your opponent's battle cards, reduce the energy cost by one. Not bad. Not bad. Not, not great, but not bad. A two drop Videl. If you have seven or fewer cards in hand, when attacking, add up to one blue non vidella and it costs three or less. And Earthling, and it's trait. This is pretty good. This is another 0k. I don't know if this will be a card that blue decks will play in abundance. I, I, don't, I don't know if it will be or not. Uh, but the card is really cool, just having a two drop. This should have been a 5k. I don't know why this was a, a 0k. Um, um, I guess, um, yes. I mean, I was going to say, because you can pick it up, but it doesn't matter yet because it says non videl So this should have been a 5k. I think this is a, a little bit of a mistake here makes the playability go up uh, we have a videl skillless weird technical difficulty there uh three drop 20k crit uh, that stat line does not make any sense being a three drop in a 20k is just it's kind of awful i think yeah this should have been a for a three drop this should have been like a 25k crit 20k is just 20k for a three drop crit is not it's not a good stat line not a good stat line at all uh, Beerus, uh, on play, choose one of, uh, one of your battle cards, three or three or more, and KO it. If you have seven or fewer cards in your hand, draw two. This is pretty good. Uh, this allows you to KO your own Fuse Zamasu, which is the whole point of the other Beerus, is to KO the Fuse Zamasu so, so you can replay it. Uh, but this card draws you two cards. So this card's probably going right into, into Zamasu builds. It's a very good card. Uh, one drop Balma, discard one card from your hand at the end of the turn, draw one. This is really good. So this allows you to kind of, um, you know, duck under the seven energy, um, or I'm sorry, the seven cards in hand requirement for a lot of the blue skills. Um, and then you just get a card back, which is crazy. So, uh, and this is, and you can grab this off of, uh, off of Pilaf again. So uh, I have a good feeling that Pilaf will probably get hit in the future. <laughs> Because they just keep printing these one drops. There's no way they're going to allow peel off to be uh, as powerful as it is now. But we'll see. Uh, two drop Fujita crit. See this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. So this is a two drop crit. Adds a card to life. So this is a uh, this is Blue's version of the Khalifa from Red. So um, look out for uh, some aggro blue decks now with uh, the ability of playing crit on turn two, which is pretty good. We have Mighty Mask, which counts as Sun Goten and Trunks. This is probably going to be a huge piece huge piece for your Gotenks decks um, because it counts as both targets and that's really all it does but the fact that it is a 10k combo is is, is magnificent uh, one drop Hercule reveal the top card of your deck and uh, if the revealed card has Satan City and its character trait choose one of your opponent's battle cards reduce its cost by two uh, this is really good really really good but this is obviously just for this Satan City archetype you're not going to just generically play this in other blue decks but this is a really good card and, and, and it's a 10k and it's a 10k uh, we have the orange star high school this is the uh, field spell so activate main for two colorless place this card in the drop look at the top three cards and then play up to one four or less satan city um battle card or yeah so you get to play out the uh the sr essentially which is the biggest tool i think you can play out the videl if not mistaken i believe the videl is also we'll go back uh here and well actually we'll go back now and look at it um yeah the videl is also a say also a satan city so okay uh what else we got i think that's it oh so actually sorry we have the extra cards uh great salmon activate main choose one of your opponent's battle cards less than or equal to the number of uh cards with satan city in your in your battle area and place the bottom of, of the deck so if you kind of uh, kind of established a board plus um plus the field spell you can bottom deck some pretty big things. You just have to have, make sure you have a board. So uh, that's a cool card, though. That's a pretty interesting card. And then we have uh, you prefer girls with short hair. It's funny. Activate main. Three or more cards with uh, Satin City or Satan City. It's gonna, it's probably going to be pronounced both ways, I'm sure. Um, in your battle area, draw three and then place one card from your hand on top of your deck. Um, that's pretty good. Again, um, keeping the battle cards on board, though, is going to be the problem. <laughs> so uh, that's that, that's what you have to figure out. So uh, so blue is, I would say blue is pretty good. Then we have the, uh, oh, yeah, we have the two drop trunks 30K that got a reprint, uh, a gold reprint, which is fantastic looking. 
uh, by the way. So that, that's really cool. I think blue, I think the Satan city archetype is very good. Um, I think blue got a lot of powerful cards. I think um, uh, initially, obviously, this is kind of the money card. This is the this is the the tier one card that you're gonna be playing in blue decks. But there's a lot of other like small support that's in here. Like um, this Shin, I think, is just gonna be wildly underrated of a card. Um, the Goten here, obviously, is super good. This is probably something that people already kind of they're obviously already looking at. Uh, this guy just for the Satan City archetype is incredible just to be able to reduce the cost of any extra card by one uh, So it's like a better Bulma almost for that archetype um, Fidel I'm not super I'm not super impressed with this card because it is a zero K uh, But again, I, I guess blue does run the, the, the least amount of zero K's in the game. So uh, that, that is pretty good uh, This Vegeta is wild uh, <laughs> They're just I, if, if this is gonna become a norm uh, I definitely need green to get one of these. <laughs> green green definitely needs a, a two-drop crit that takes a life. Because we have like one self-awakener in the game. Uh, yeah, I think blue has a lot of good a lot of good tools. I'm very excited to start building some blue decks. Um, let me know what you guys think of blue as a whole. If you guys think it's, you know blue got a huge buff. If, it's, if you think it's pretty mid. Uh, if you think, don't think it's good at all, then, you know, let me know down below what you guys think. Um, I'm interested to see um, what blue decks we're going to have come out of. I obviously think this deck is going to be very good, this leader in, in itself, but maybe every other blue deck gets a you know big buff. So we'll have to see. Um, but that does it for me today, guys. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you guys enjoy the content. And I will see you guys with you know more Dragon Ball Fusion World and Masters content.